everyone. Drum tech drummer and YouTube educator Kenny Sherrod's coming to you with part two of my series on how to tune a 16-inch floor tom, featuring my brand new Rogers Covington floor tom, y'all. Now, in part one of this series, I showed you how to easily tune this 16-inch floor tom three different ways. And then I showed you how to choose which of those three tunings pair best with where my 12-inch was tuned. Because like a lot of drummers I know, my 12-inch is tuned exactly where it's supposed to be, sir. However, along the way, I know I focus primarily on the tuning interval relationship between the batter head and the rezzo head. In today's episode, we're going to focus more on the tuning interval relationship between the toms, between the 12 and the 14, and the 14 and the 16. Along the way, we're going to discuss some of the challenges drummers often face when they're choosing intervals, especially for their floor toms. And finally, I'm going to share with you three great tuning interval sets that I've used as a touring drum tech for artists such as Rihanna, Janet Jackson, Stevie Wonder, Puff Daddy, and Elvis Costello. And that way, hopefully, I help you better understand how these tuning interval sets will apply to your drums, helping you get the drum sound that you want every time you tune up. Come on! Now, to start things off, I have these drums tuned basically where they were in the last video that I used them. In part one of this series, I had the 12 and the 16 tuned a perfect fifth apart. giving you a great set of intervals for, a, for two toms set up with a 12 and a 16. And then in the last video I did with this 14, which was the UV2 head review, I had these tuned to about a perfect fourth in between them. And if you play all three of these toms together, they actually sound pretty all right. And that's not bad. However, you probably noticed two distinct things about these tom sounds when you were listening. One, first of all, the 14 and the 16 are pretty close to each other. What is the equivalent of about a half or a whole step apart? And while it sounds okay together, with the three toms, with the, it's still something that I want more. I want a little bit more depth, a little bit more separation. Uh, the other thing you probably noticed is that I said this is like a perfect fourth-ish, and that's because these drums are tuned to two different intervals head-to-head. -head. That means this one is tuned to a perfect fourth, with this being the root note, and the bottom head being tuned to perfect fourth higher, and then I have this drum tuned head-to-head -head as a major third, with this being the root note, and the bottom head tuned a major third higher than that. And subsequently, the resonance between the two, while they sound great, and a lot of people ask me, hey, Kenny, can I do that, you know, mix intervals between tops? It's like, of course you can. Sometimes a 14 floor sounds great here. And the 12 sounds great here. And you don't want to mess with it. So for me, I look more at the situation of what do I want tonally when I'm creating intervals between the toms. Now, if you, I pull this up to a bottom head up to a perfect fourth, I'm going to get a cleaner set of intervals so the notes that the drums speak are much more clear to hear, and then this would define the perfect fourth between these two toms. So in order to get on with the next step of the series, I want to go ahead, the first thing I'm going to do is tune the bottom head of this floor tom up a half step, and then the next step I'm going to do is tune the 16 inch down. That way I have the first set of tuning intervals that we're going to use in this series, the pair of perfect fourths, which is one of my favorite tuning intervals and also happens to be one of those tuning intervals that gives you like the most spread over your toms. You know, here it's kind of tight. Sounds good, but I want more spread. And this is something I use in arenas to help create more of an epic sound of the toms as you go around them in a big environment. So let's go ahead and get to it, y'all, starting with this 14-inch floor tom. Okay, everybody, so now we got the two pairs of perfect fourths. We have a perfect fourth between the 16 and the 14. Woo! Bum, bum, and that 16 is ripping.
And see, this circumvents one of the problems that a lot of drummers deal with when they're choosing intervals for their floor toms. Because they find that their floor tom, if they tune it any higher than this, like low as it can go, it sounds like a tom-tom. And that's not what they want. They want a floor tom, 14 floor tom, and a huge 16. Oh yeah, y'all, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Now over here between the 12 and 14, we also have a perfect fourth. Bum, bum. And if we play them together, low as you can go, big fat toms with, with projection and attack because they're all perfect fourths with each other and perfect fourths apart. So if I go ahead and turn on this snare drum, give it a couple of shots, let's make sure I got my snares. Want them a little tighter than that? Beautiful. Ha ha, ha ha. So if I wanted to see how these sound all together with a groove, I'd do a little something like this. All right, I'm absolutely loving that, y'all. Big rock sounds, big, huge drum sounds, almost like this is a 13, 16, 18 setup. And that's what this set of perfect fourth intervals gives you. So now let's go ahead and check out the next set of tuning intervals, which will be what I call the Kenny Aronoff Special, because I used it with him on the tours that I did as his tech. And that is a major triad across the toms, which is do, me, and so. Okay, everybody, so let's go ahead and start talking about the major triad tuning interval set, or as I like to call it, the Kenny Aronoff Special, because that's the tuning interval set Kenny had me use when I teched for him. Now, this is a great tuning interval set for anyone who has a 12-inch tom that just doesn't sound good tuned high, or they want a lower tone out of it. And it's the same thing with a 16 that won't tune as low as you want it to go, but you don't want to tune your 14-inch tom too high. Now, as far as the major triad goes, it, musically it's pretty straightforward. The most simple way I can describe it is, you can create a major triad out of the first, third, and fifth tone of any major scale. Our batter heads will be tuned accordingly. The 16 will have the one tone starting at the scale. Then we will tune the 14 batter head to the third tone of the scale, creating a major third between the 16 and the 14. Then we will tune the 12 batter to the fifth tone of the scale, which is an E, creating a minor third between the 14 and the 12. Because that's really all a major triad is, is a minor third laid over a major third. Word! Now, because we're doing the Americana version of this tuning, I'll be using a head-to-head -head tuning ratio of a major third, where I'll be tuning the resonant heads a major third above the pitch of the batter head. Uh, and I'm doing this to kind of get a warmer tone, a warmer sustain, and kind of a warmer attack. You know, warm. Going for warm toms now. Now, we're gonna go ahead and start with this 14, not just because it's right in front of me, but because much like when we went from the major third to the perfect fourth on the bottom head, it's only gonna take a small set of turns to tune this top head up from a C to C sharp. So let's get to it, y'all. Solid, so now we have a major triad, or as I like to call it, the Kenny Aronoff Special Americana style, y'all. We have the one tone, we have the major third above it, and then the fifth above that. Yes, nice spread between the toms, but still a little bit tighter, a bit more musical. The chords are nice. The chords are nice. The chords are nice. You also hear it's a very warm tone. 
the sustain is a little bit more controlled and the attack is a bit warmer than what we had before. So I'm gonna go ahead and drum a little bit on this so you can hear the difference between the two. Make sure this is exactly where I want it. And then go ahead and play some drums, y'all. All right, a test sloppy, y'all, but I'm having fun, man. That's a rich, warm set of toms that I'd be proud to play with any classic rock or country band that needed a nice, warm tom sound. In the studio, these are gonna be amazing, and it's something I would use with Kenny, like if he was playing a casino with Fogarty or, or Seeger versus a big arena. I might choose this tuning just to warm it up for a room a little bit so we can hit him hard without it overwhelming the drum, y'all, and overwhelming the mic. So uh, let's go ahead and go to the next version, which is the Kenny and Aronoff major triad, but with a perfect fourth head-to-head -head tuning interval for a more arena rock kind of sound, y'all. Great for outdoor gigs, just great for a more attack-oriented tone while still keeping within the major triad. Let's do it, y'all. Okay, y'all, so here we are at the last Tom Tuning Interval set of the series, and that is the Kenny Aronoff Special, a major triad, but with a head-to-head -head interval of a perfect fourth, so you can kind of see the difference in tones you're gonna get simply by changing a half step. Now, this is actually should be one of the easier tuning moments because we're just raising the bottom heads a half step. So I've got a C sharp right now, and I wanna raise this head up to a D. So I wanna get my pitches in my head, and I'm gonna do exactly as we did before. Okay, y'all, so here we go with the Kenny Aronoff special arena style with the perfect fourth tuning interval head to head with the bottom head a perfect fourth higher. And you can see it's got a little bit more attack, a little bit more focus, a little bit more punch but still has deep, rich tones, which we didn't want to sacrifice. We find kind of the perfect place where your 12 sounds good, but not too high. Your 16's low, but not too low. And that 14 sits right in the middle, y'all. So let's check this out. Beautiful.
All right, y'all. So I got to say, I love all three of these tuning interval sets, and I hope you find them useful because this is going to give you some of the challenges that you face tuning between time intervals, a kick in the butt, man. You're going to be able to actually have in your hands the technique to circumvent some of the issues you might find in your kit. So I hope you enjoyed part two of my series on how to tune a 16 inch floor tom. And as always, feel free to watch all the videos you want at YouTube Kenny Sherritts. And to help my channel grow, please stream lessons at kennysherritts.com. I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching.